we should be wanting to sit alone look at nature look at the sky feel the breeze feel the light and think that this whole thing is pervaded by that one universal consciousness our whole thing is pervaded by god whichever you feel happy with in bhagavatam there is a shloka kham vayum agnim salilam mahimcha jyotim shi satvani disho drumadin sarit samudram sya hare shariram yat kincha bhutam pranamedananya kham vayum agnim salilam mahimcha this being said that kham is what akasha sky vayu is wind agni is fire kham vayu magnim salilam is water and mahim mahim is earth so the panchabhuta we are always interacting with the panchabhuta jyotim shi all the celestial objects satvani all the creatures disho drumadin disha is all the directions and drumadin plants and trees sarit samudramscha sarit is river and samudra is samudra ocean so one by one everything that we interact with in our day to day life has been told has been mentioned why because when we are interacting with them we just interact we never think what it is this loka is saying that all this is what hare shariram it is the body of the supreme lord because the supreme lord is one one without a second it is all pervading so it is the body of the supreme lord it is pervading everything so as soon as we interact with something whether it is good it is bad whether we like it or dislike it the thought that should come to our mind is that it is the supreme lord god or the brahman you know the thought will not come unless you tutor your mind yeah.